James, John, and all apostles. Mary Magdalene and Veronica. Barnabas, Matthias. Stephen, Philip, and Cornelius. Prisca and Dakila. Timothy and Titus, Linus, Cletus, and Clement. Oh, you holy men and women, pray for us. Lord, and Chris Ogonos, Innocent and Boniface, Hippolytus and Origen, Athanasius and Basil, Felicity Perpetua, Cosmos and Damien, John Chrysostom and Justin, Lucy, Agatha, and Agnes. Oh, you holy men and women, pray for us, Saint Juan Diego, Saint Mother Teresa, Saint Tony Bedo Serra, Jude Cecilia and Hillary, Kevin Edward, Patrick Victor Rose Sebastian, Saint Dismas, Saint Damien of Malachi. Saint Kateri take a quiva. Saint Francis of Rome. Dorothy Bridget Gertrude Cyprian. Genevieve and Barnard. Saint Gerard Magella. Joan of Arc, Mel Paula, Jane of Francis, Odelia, Philip, Mary, Pasco, Baylor. Oh, you holy men and women, pray for us, Jerome and who save you, Scholastica and Benedict, Ambrose, Monica,
throne of God, read our amen. for us. Faustina Kowalska. for us. Albert Brandon Bartholomew. for us. Blessed Stanislaus Pomczynski. for us. John Paul II. Pray for us. John Paul the Twenty Third. Pray for us. Pray for us. Oscar Romero.
too, right? You and she? Catch him right after the show. Oh, I'm doing pictures. Sure. You get the two for you. What I'm saying, Melody, is God's creation grows I, I from chaos. Put in the pocket for who wept at the shadow of the cross and who danced early in the morning at the opening of the empty tomb. Come, Holy Spirit, the one who could not be contained by wind or plague or breath, the one who blesses the church with courage, peace, and love. Come, Holy Spirit, to us, who gather this day with trembling hands and uncertain hearts, teach us to sing a new song and dance with reckless abandon, hear the gathering of believers as you did with those long ago. Breathe on us now. Breathe on us now, blowing away, blowing away our fears and hesitations. Breathe on us now, transforming our hard-heartedness into passion-filled lives. Breathe on us now. For we need peace, peace that only you can give. Please stand and join us as we begin our celebration. Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. My friends, a great joy to be back at St. Mariana de Paredes 
especially today to confirm the Holy, confer the Holy Spirit upon your young people and adults today. For each one of us, we began our life with Jesus through our baptism. So we begin our liturgy today with a prayer of blessing over our water and sprinkling that water upon us, recalling our own baptism. Almighty Lord and God, who are the source and origin of all life, whether a body or soul, we ask you to bless this water, which we use in confidence to implore forgiveness for our sins and to obtain the protection of your grace against all illness and every snare of the enemy. Grant, O Lord, in your mercy, that living waters may always spring up for our salvation. And so may we approach you with a pure heart and avoid all danger to body and soul. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. Get all wet on you. Let us pray. Fulfill for us your gracious promise, O Lord, so that by his coming, the Holy Spirit may make us witnesses before the world to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, 
they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew.
come to life and the earth is renewed in your radiance may God's glory endure forever the creator delight in creation From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to On the evening of, the, of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for, fears of, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be, be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed to them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Cardinal Mahoney, the parish community of St. Mariana de Paredes wishes to present to you its young men and women and adult candidates who have prepared and are ready to receive the fullness of Christian initiation in the sacrament of confirmation. Each candidate has been well instructed and is accompanied by a sponsor. It is my privilege to present them to you at this time. I invite the candidates for confirmation to please stand.
Thank you very much, Father Larry, for presenting this wonderful group of candidates. Please be seated. Many of my uh, remarks today in the homily are going to be directed more to our high school age group, but they work well for us older people as well. I would like to, first of all, thank you and commend you for participating in the confirmation program. It does require a lot of special effort, classes, uh, retreats, works of service, all kinds of elements that go into it, but on purpose because we are disciples of Jesus and the Holy Spirit especially sends us out into the world to be good disciples of Jesus and to bring the love of Jesus and the gospel to others. So the Holy Spirit is given to us to energize us, to give us insights on how to do that more effectively. And today I'd like to emphasize three things with you. Number one is we have to make sure Jesus has a special place in our We as disciples of Jesus learn a lot about Jesus, but sometimes we don't come to know Jesus more personally, and yet that's what he desperately wants. Jesus loves each one of you, not in a group, individually. Jesus loves each of you individually doesn't love the confirmation class, he loves you. And he always has his arms around us, guiding us, directing us, regardless of what's going on in our lives. Jesus never lets go. That compassion and that mercy of Jesus are without any limit. Generosity, love, care, and concern for us. That is so important for us to learn to live. So how do you make that work simply on an everyday basis? Well, I'll tell you how it's worked for me forever. And it is so simple. And once you get in the habit of it, you will be amazed at how close you get to Jesus. So what is, there's no big secret. When I wake up in the morning, I say, Lord Jesus, thank you for this new day. Walk with me today. That's it. You don't need a book. You don't need a car. You don't need anything. But what happens is when you start your day that way, you will be amazed at how Jesus becomes more visible and present to you as the day goes on. Lord Jesus, thank you for this new day. Walk with me today. And so I invite all of you, whatever age, try it. Can't do any harm, but it works miracles. Because what happens is you set your day on track. Very important, it's on track to be at your side all day long. So when something good, joyful happens, thank you, Lord Jesus, for that blessing. When things don't go well, you have problems, Lord Jesus, help me with this problem or this difficulty, whatever it might be. He is there with you. So I really urge all of you, regardless of age group, start your day that way. It's so simple, so simple, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is, and this is really for the high school group, you are really COVID survivors. No other group, age group, has been more affected by COVID than you. And why? Because in your junior high, you were in that no man's land of very little contact with each other, Zoom classes, all the things that were going on during that time, and that took a big toll on you. It took a toll on all of us, but especially you. Because see, during those years, 
those are the years where you need to be together and growing up and in class together, socializing together. Texting doesn't do it. You didn't have that contact. So as a result, we find that, and added to that social media, we find a lot of our young people are really having a difficult time. A lot of young, so many people use it in a negative way. And they say the most terrible things about other people, and especially even your age group. And they say things that are just terrible and has an impact because it's out there on the web. And so we have to work together to support each other on this journey and to be there for one another, and especially our young people. If you see on one of the sites, one of your friends, someone's attacking them, you need to say to that person, don't pay any attention to that nonsense. You got to let them understand they're more valuable than the idiots who are posting that stuff. So we've got to be there for each other on the journey. And just as there's a lot of hopelessness maybe out there, you guys are the best instruments of bringing hope and encouragement to each other. And what's that require? Keeping your eyes and ears open. Be alert. You, you see one of your friends suddenly becoming very quiet, no longer talkative, no longer seemingly interested in things. Something's up. Something's up. And so, for example, say most of you guys, when you have lunch, you sit with your friends, right? I mean, that's normal. So say you sit down with your friends and one of the boys or girls comes up and sits at your, your table, and all of a sudden you notice he or she's not saying anything, or very little. Not looking normal. Something's wrong. Something is going wrong here. So you got to note that and we got to reach out to that person. And we've got to start engaging them. You have the power to really break down a lot of barriers. And if it's really serious, maybe a couple of you at lunchtime need to say to your friend, you know, why don't we go over to the counselor's office and maybe talk with that counselor. We don't let things get out of hand. We are there for each other. And we have to really understand you have a lot of power because more than your, your parents, you will notice changes in your friends more than anyone else will. And we gotta be there for them. Gotta be there for them. And as I say, keep our eyes and ears open and don't hesitate to speak up and offer encouragement. Let each other know you're not alone. Don't listen and watch that nonsense on social media. You are far better and valuable than that stuff. We gotta, gotta do it and not be afraid to speak up to encourage each other. There are a lot of resources out there. Your, most of your schools have school counselors. There are a lot of things out there. And you know, I've heard from uh, young people like you, I say, what is the most difficult time of the day for you? They almost always, you know what they tell me? At night. At night in my room, and I'm all alone, and all kinds of things are going through my mind, and I find it really more difficult. There's a great resource in our country which we never had before. Everybody knows what 911 is, right? Call 911 for the fire department, ambulance, police, etc. Well, there's another number, national wide uh, number, 988. 988 is a universal hotline for anyone experiencing any kind of problem just to talk so to someone. It is manned 24 7 by highly qualified people, counselors, social workers, psychologists, etc. Anytime you call, totally anonymous. Remember that number, 988.
eight. And you'll be amazed. It's a great resource for you, okay? So that's the second thing. The third thing is, in most of our confirmation programs, you are involved in some kind of social service, outreach for the poor, the needy, et cetera. I know you would have been here in your parish too. Reaching out to people in need is a hallmark of disciples of Jesus. Jesus said, by this, you will, people will know you are my disciples because of your great love and concern for each other. So as we grow up, especially these years, with all the other things on your plate, get involved in anything that brings you in contact with people in need, whether they be for food or clothing, whether it be immigrants, whatever it might be, whether it might be helping with uh, tutoring younger kids. We all have something to do. We have talents, and it's important to always be people of outreach, always caring, concerned for one another. And there are many activities, probably in your own parish, maybe in your school, your community, where you can actively be involved. And so outreach to others is a very positive way in which we not only serve one another, but you know what also happens? We begin to realize how valuable we are for others, for the community. We begin to see why the Lord put us here. So my friends, these are just a few uh, thoughts today when you receive confirmation because it is through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit that you're able to have the, the ability to keep your eyes and ears open, listen carefully, be there for one another, and be there for the whole community. That is what it means now to be a baptized and confirmed disciple of Jesus, being sent now out into the world to bring goodness to others, all right? Now, when you were baptized, most of you were probably infants. Your parents and godparents brought you to a church to be baptized, and they made certain promises for you at that time. Today, the day of your confirmation, the church asks you to make those promises your very own. So now we're going to have the renewal of your baptismal promises. So I invite our candidates to please stand, just the candidates to please stand. And I'm gonna ask you a series of questions and the response is very simple, I do, right? Someone's got the book somewhere. There he comes. All right. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way? just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church, and we are proud to profess it with you in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now, I'd like to invite you to kneel down, if you would, for the prayer of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And if it's not easy to kneel, you can be seated, whatever it works for you. And I ask the priest to come forward and extend hands over them when I do, all right? Up there, top is fine. Dear friends, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, for these, his adopted sons and daughters, spirit, the paraclete, 
Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. You can stand now and wait till you get called up for your confirmation. Can we move this out of the way? I need to stand right there. Spirit and Amen. peace be with you. Peace be with you. Thank you. You can go back. Nice and close, all the way up here. Adam, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you and with your spirit. Esther, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. All the way up here. Okay. Daniel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. With your spirit. Cindy, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Lauren, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. David, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Okay. Nathan, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Joe, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Jasmine, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Aubrey, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Come on, way up here. Maximiliano, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. David, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. On hell, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Dario, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Jennifer, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. 
Alexia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Christian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Phoenix, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Matthew, yeah, close here, please. Matthew, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Karina, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Serenity, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Patricia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Aaron, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Daira Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Travis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Sharai, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Isaiah, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Karine, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Francis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Rudy, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Nathaniel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Javier, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Isabel. Isabella, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Veronica, be peace be with you. Ilan, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Shaila. Shaila, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Amen. 
Anthony, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. So close here. Robert, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And also with you. Michael, be, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Manuel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Haley, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Daisha, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Is it close here? Esau, no, look at Esau, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And with your spirit. Amen. 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 Great. Ruby, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Christopher, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Brianna, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. A little closer, please. Diego, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Jose, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Andrea, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Melissa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Lolita, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Darlene, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Yasiel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Joshua, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Ryan, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Genesis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with 
Israel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Anthony, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sophia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Daniel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Carla, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Raymond, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Juliana, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Nathaniel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Eduardo, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Brenda, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Louisa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Janelli, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Celeste, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Kendall, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Roman, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Closer, please. Zibia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. One, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. David, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Sweet, 
Alonso. Antonio, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Frank, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Natalie, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Chloe, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Monique, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mariana, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Jacqueline, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Owen, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. A special blessing. Esteban, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Jaden, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Cindy, may the graces of the Holy Spirit, which you have already received, be given new strength and vigor today. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Nice and close. Miguel, may the graces of the Holy Spirit, which you have already received, be given new strength and vigor today in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you, Miguel. My dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to God, our Almighty Father, and be of one mind in our prayer, just as faith, hope, and charity, which proceed from his Holy Spirit, are one. that 
planted in a faith and grounded in love, they may bear witness to Christ the Lord by their way of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are her. For their parents and sponsors, that by word and example, they may continue to encourage those whom they have sponsored in faith to follow in the footsteps of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are her. For the Holy Church of God, together with Francis our Pope, Cardinal Mahoney, and Jose our Bishop, and all the bishops that gathered by the Holy Spirit, the Church may grow and increase in unity of faith and love until the coming of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world, that all people who have one Maker and Father may acknowledge one another as sisters and brothers without discrimination of race or nation and, an, and with sincere hearts seeking kingdom of God, which is peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, especially in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, may your young hear God's call. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May your families, parishes, and schools sow the seeds that will reap a harvest of sacred workers of God's church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles and willed that through them and their successors the same Spirit be handed on to the rest of the faithful, listen favorably to our prayer and grant that your divine grace, which was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, may now spread through the hearts of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the 
Receive in your mercy, O Lord, the prayers of your servants, and grant that, being conformed more perfectly to your Son, Jesus, they may grow steadily in bearing witness to him as they share in the memorial of his redemption, by which he gained for us your Holy Spirit. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you bestow gifts suited to every season and guide the governing of your church in wonderful ways. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you come unfailingly to her aid so that with a heart always subject to you, she may never fail to seek your help in time of trouble, nor cease to give you thanks in time of joy. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis of Pope, Jose our Archbishop, Cardinal Mahoney, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have preached you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Father, in the words Jesus gave us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Say, 
Take this bread, take this wine, now the symbol may divide for any to receive. By your mercy we come to your table. Let us pray. Instruct, O Lord, in the fullness of the law, those you have endowed with the gifts of your spirit and nourished by the body of your only begotten Son, that they may constantly show to the world the freedom of your adopted children and by the holiness of their lives exercise the prophetic mission of your people. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. We are grateful to so many who prepared for this special day. I ask you to please hold your applause until the end. To my associate pastor, Father Sam, thank you for joining us in this Eucharistic celebration. To the Minister of Liturgy, especially our musicians, servers, and MCs, and to our two transitional deacons here present with us, Deacon Eduardo and Deacon Askey, thank you for your making our celebration extra special. To all who prepared the conformandi, most especially our program director, Moises Vargas, and Luis Jaime Perez, thank you for your commitment and for sharing your faith. To our conformandi, please stand. Our conformandi, please stand. Face your families and friends. Thank you for being a witness to our Lord. May the flame of the Holy Spirit burn brightly in your life for all to see. Congratulations. Confirmandi, please be seated. And last but certainly not the least, Cardinal Roger Mahoney, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for your presence and participation in celebrating the Sacrament of Confirmation for the youth and adults of our parish. As I strewed alongside with you, Witnessing the conferral of the sacrament upon these individuals, I couldn't help but feel a profound sense of gratitude for the guidance and wisdom you have imparted upon me throughout my journey as a priest. Your mentorship has been invaluable, shaping not only my understanding of the faith, but also my approach to pastoral ministry, especially since you ordained me to the priesthood. May God continue to bless your, you abundantly and granting you peace and fulfillment in all your endeavors. So Cardinal Mahoney, we were the last ones of his ordination and I told him he really saved the best for last. Thank you, Cardinal Mahoney. And now please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. Confirm, O God, what you have brought about in us, and preserve in the hearts of your faithful the gifts of the Holy Spirit. May they never be ashamed to confess Christ crucified before the world, and by devoted charity, may they ever fulfill his commands, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, thanks be to God. And just a reminder, Lord Jesus, thank you for this new day. Walk with me today. Congratulations. Stop till
to radiate, radiate with total consuming flame. All I want to do is look for him in everyone, in everyone I meet. We will set the world on fire. We will set the world on fire. We won't stop till every heart is burning. We won't stop till every 